Hi everyone, Pharma Questions here. In this video, we'll be taking a look at enzyme induction and enzyme inhibition. So let's start from the top. Enzymes are proteins which play a role in metabolism within the body and they can also speed up chemical reactions in the body. So for the purpose of this video, we'll, look, we'll take a look at CYP450 enzymes and drug metabolism. In a normal process, the drug typically binds to the CYP enzyme and gets metabolised. However, sometimes when certain drugs are taken together, or if a drug is an enzyme inducer, the drug increases the number of CYP enzymes. If there's more CYP enzymes, then that means the drug would get metabolised quicker. So this leads to a decreased pharmacological effect because there's not enough drug in the body as it's in the body for a shorter period of time. Some examples of enzyme inducers include the following. So now that we've taken a look at enzyme induction, the opposite is also possible. Notice how we said certain drugs can act as en enzyme inducers, well, other drugs can act as enzyme inhibitors. In enzyme inhibition, inhibitors block the CYP enzymes, so the drug is no longer able to bind to the enzyme. And if the drug cannot bind to the enzyme, then there is more free drug floating around. This leads to an increased pharmacological effect, as the drug remains in the body for a longer period of time. Some examples of enzyme inhibitors include And that's all for this video. Hopefully it simplified enzyme inhibition and enzyme induction. Thank you for watching.